All right, this is a Texas Pride trailer, car trailer, car hauler, and it's the one with the triple axle. This one has right on a hundred thousand miles. It's got, uh, I think it's 90, 92,000 miles right now. And we've had one problem with it. I think it was this wheel or the one over here in the center. Um, yeah, this one here. It was this one right here that I, I'm not really sure what happened. If it was the wheel that locked up with the, the bearing or whatever, but when it did that, it didn't even have 5,000 miles. It caught on fire, and the car that was right in this spot here was saved because um, he jumped out and outed the, the fire here. Another driver that told him that the trailer was on fire. They fixed it for free and everything, but the only damage it really did was that little crack right there. It's just a little crack. But what we do to keep it running good is we grease the hubs every 10,000 miles. It has a cap and then the nipple is right there and we will take one wheel off and torque it. And I'd have to look at the paper, but you torque it, then you release um, 180 degrees and there's a bunch of going through, but if it still is good we'll lift it jack it jack it up shake the wheel there should be no play if there's no play then just grease it grease it up and um just make sure the grease comes out the little has some little spots you'll see grease squirt out of and that's all we do every ten thousand miles that's about it and she's close to a hundred thousand with no issues Oh, the other only issue we had, not with tire, but this couple weeks back broke. The weld on this one broke, but it's welded back up and it's solid now. That was the only issue with it on that. And we realized change your hydraulic fluid to the synthetic full synthetic hydraulic fluid because the regular one that they send the trailer with it in the cold weather like winter time up north that little gate will take about uh, maybe 30 to 45 seconds to go down and up whereas when we switched it out to the synthetic it moves a lot quicker it's not perfect but it might take uh, 20 seconds and then you just keep spare tires so you keep on going everything is in uh, let me see if it okay it's locked the other battery charger everything is there and then this is for this battery here and it's okay yeah, but once you hook up, we got it set up where you hook this one cable up and that charges this battery. The other battery that's inside here, the one inside here is for the hydraulic lift in the back. That one is for the winch. So have them all and that's the brand right there. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's what it looks like when we're putting in the grease you get those little globs towards the back and that means it's full make sure it comes all the way out all right and I forgot to mention on these nipples we grease them once that one that one the other side has two and then up here yeah, it's got them at the bottom 
of each of these joints right there and that's about it that we've greased on this thing other than that one wheel right there the issue with it and the piece that broke up there it's been nothing else with it. Um, trying to find any faults with it. Uh, this right here. I don't know what he laid it on, but it bent that one foot. And man, they should make these things in them with an automatic lift. Because that little crank isn't really worth using up all that energy. Um, there was, oh, and the, this is not the original one. The original one got left someplace. I have no idea where. So those are just bought and put on. The originals for this, I think were black, but it's been almost a year that they've been gone now but that's all I can think of on this trailer here oh well